We used the word period previously. Let's properly define it. The period of a function is the smallest number k such that f of x plus k equals f of x no matter what x is. I'll start with the observation that not all functions have periods. Functions that do have periods are called periodic. And all six trig functions are periodic. And how a period manifests graphically, just as we saw with the sine and the cosine, if we cut the x-axis up, into intervals whose length is the period of the function, then the graph is just going to be the same shape repeated over and over again. So here's a periodic function other than the sine and the cosine. Our next definition is the amplitude. And amplitude is a more specialized definition. We rarely only talk about the amplitudes of the sine and the cosine and some closely related functions. So for example, the tangent function doesn't have an amplitude. And that's because to have an amplitude, the graph of the function has to be waves. The amplitude is defined in terms of these waves. These waves are taking on a maximum value, and a minimum value. And the amplitude is one half the difference of the maximum and the minimum values. That is to say, well, what I just said, except written as a formula, the amplitude is given by this. And the sine and the cosine have the same amplitude. Amplitudes, their amplitudes are one. The sine and the cosine both have one as a maximum and negative one as a minimum. And then to get this, we just said. Well, the amplitude is one half, one minus negative one. Subtracting a negative number is addition. So one half of two, which is indeed one, just as I said it should be.